In the following video, you will learn how to conduct research for your food history assignment in Anthropology 101. You should conduct research by using the resources found on your course LibGuide. You can find your course LibGuide by going to the library website, www.hgtc.edu slash library, scrolling down and selecting the LibGuides tab, then in the drop-down menu, select the Anthropology 101 guide that's labeled as being for food history. When you get to the guide, you're going to navigate your way around using the various tabs that you see at the center of the page. The research tabs start on the books tab, but this is only for the student who wishes to come into the library to see if we have any books about their chosen food they would search the library catalog to see if we have anything on their topic. But if you're conducting all of your research from home, you're going to want to begin on the eBooks tab. It's here that you will find Credo Reference. Credo Reference is probably the best starting point for this assignment. Credo Reference gives you entries out of books about your chosen food. So I could go to Credo Reference, do a search for sushi, And here you can see what I've got on my results list are entries out of books about the food that I searched for. Some of the entries will be shorter in length, and some of them are going to be longer, like this one that we see listed here. When you see one that looks good to you, go ahead and click on it, and it'll bring you right to that entry out of that book. Again, you don't have to look at the actual physical book. You are looking at it in electronic format. And keep in mind, one of the nice things about library resources is they do come pre-cited. So when you find one that looks good to you, there's a citation button that you can click on, and it'll give you the suggested MLA citation for that source. Back on the guide, another source similar to Credo but a little bit lower on the page is Gale eBooks. You may want to take a look in that one to again find entries about your food out of books. But if you want to see if we have any complete books about your chosen food, you're going to want to search either eBook Central or EBSCO eBook Collection. Both of those again will give you complete books about your chosen food. For example, I'll go into EBSCO eBook Collection and show you one search tip. If you conduct a search for your chosen food and you get too many results back, one thing that you can do to your search is add and history to it. Because what that will do is bring up the books not just about your food, but the ones that discuss the actual history of it. So let's say that barbecue gave me too many results, but barbecue in history might give me a more manageable list of results. And here you can see I have 18 books that were returned, which is a relatively manageable amount. And then if I see one that looks good to me, I can go ahead and look at that book by clicking on the link here and then either viewing it in PDF format or downloading. The PDF loads fairly quickly. And just like we saw previously, there will be a Cite button that you can click on to see the suggested MLA style citation. Going back to your guide, again, you can also search the eBook Central collection for complete books on your chosen food. Within eBook Central, there is a book series called the Edible Book Series. This is a list of 52 different titles that give you complete histories of select foods. If you want to see the 52 titles that are in that series, click on the link that you see here, and it will bring that list up for you.
Going back to your guide, we're going to go up to the tabs again, and this time we're going to click on the Databases tab. A database is a library resource that gives you a variety of different source types. Databases usually contain articles out of journals, magazines, and newspapers, as well as sometimes entries out of books, videos, government publications, and other published sources. On the Databases tab, your best bet is going to be using one of the history databases that you see listed on the screen. For this particular assignment, the best one is probably the World History Database. And again, you can search just for the name of your food, or if that gives you too many results for your liking, you can add Ant History to your search. So I'll start out with a search for hummus, and I'm not too overwhelmed my, by my number of results. I've got one journal article, 11 videos, three entries out of books, 21 magazine articles, even have an image here. The one category that's a little high is the news section, but that's still not too bad considering the numbers that we have in the other categories. And from here, you can scroll down and you can look at each of those categories. So for instance, maybe you want to look at this one entry out of a reference book on hummus. There you can see the image, some of the videos, audio files, and also the news articles. And as you'll notice, it lists for you the total number here. If you want to get to that complete list, just click on that link and it will bring up the complete list for you. And again, when you find one that looks good to you, simply click on it and then you'll be able to access the resource as well as to cite the source. In this case, your site link is here. The last place that we're going to go for research today in this video is the Multimedia tab. It's on the Multimedia tab that you'll find Films on Demand and Canopy. These are the library's two streaming video services. They're great for finding academic videos that you could use in research on your chosen food. We're going to start out by going into Films on Demand. I'm going to conduct a search for rice. And you can see here are all the videos that came back that matched my particular search. If you see one that looks good, you can click on it, and it plays much like YouTube does in that the video is over here on the left-hand side. Your site button in this case is going to be below the video. And last but not least, a very helpful feature is the transcript feature. You can click on this to see everything that's being said in the video. So if you want to directly quote something and cite it in your paper, you don't have to retype it. You can just grab it from here. I'm not in this video going to go in and show you Canopy, but I will tell you it's the one library resource that does require you to set up a free account in order to search and use the videos in the collection. It's recommended that you just use your MyHGTC email address and password so that it's easy to remember if you have to go back and get into Canopy. Finally, I am going to show you one thing on the Images tab, and this is not a library resource like everything else that we've seen in this video. But if you want to find high-quality images about your chosen food, you may want to use one of the sites in the bottom right-hand corner box. These are websites that give you copyright-free images. They are very high-quality, as you will see when we go in and take a look at this one, which is called Pixabay.
Here you can see I've done a search for shrimp. And looking at this, you can tell that the images are very high quality. And if I saw one that I wanted to include in any type of a presentation, I can click on it and it is a free download, as you can see from this box right here. Finally, going down to the last tab on your guide, you'll find the Get Help tab. This is where you can find all the different methods for contacting the library for assistance. If you need help, please know that you can come in and visit our libraries anytime when we are open, but if you're unable to stop by, you have other ways of getting in contact with the library. You can email a librarian, and all of our contact information is listed here. You can chat live with the library during the hours that are listed here. And lastly, you can also call any campus library or text us if you need help. Whatever method works best for you is the way that we'll respond back. So please, if you need assistance, do reach out to the library and we'll be glad to lend you a hand. Thanks for watching.